What is going on guys, Carlos here from Everything Tech and in this video we're going to remove the FRP lock on a J5 2017. This is the J530F. This is a European model, so if you have a phone from a different country, this process might not work and please do not use the files in the description. So the first thing we're going to need to do is show you that it is indeed locked with FRP. As you can see, this is a new Android 8.1.0, which is still Oreo, but uh, it is a, a newer version of it. So as you can see, it's locked. I need to put the Google account in order to get in. But obviously, because I don't know it, pretending I forgot it, uh, I'm not going to be able to, to get any further. So the first thing we're going to need to do is put the phone in download mode and from download mode we're going to go into recovery mode to find out what firmware is currently installed on the device so if you pay attention now this is a, a good opportunity for you to learn something and not keep downloading the wrong firmware because you just don't know if it is the right one and it keeps on failing in Odin so let's put the device in uh, recovery mode and this took me a little bit of time. This device is a little bit harder than most devices to get into recovery mode, but eventually I got it to uh, load. As you can see, it, this is the recovery mode, the, the screen before the recovery mode where it says installing system update and the screen is all blue with the Android uh, guy in the center. So um, we just have to wait in here. I left this in real time so you guys can see that there's no trickery. And uh, because it doesn't take very long, I decided to just leave this so you can see how long it would take you uh, to get to the recovery screen because it does take a little bit of time. So as you can see here, we have the J530F and the firmware is the j 530 FXX U3 so it's binary 3 and it's Android 8.1.0 so now let's go and turn the phone off so just press the power button and we're gonna get it into download mode now to do that you have to press the volume down power button and home button and to get it into the recovery mode you have to press volume up power button and home button once you see this warning screen just press up button and as you can see FRP lock is on and uh, it's SMJ 530F which is the J5 2017. Let, now let's go on the computer and flash the combination firmware. Because of my links being stolen I've decided to uh, require access to access my links so the links are in the description below just request access make a little comment in the video saying that you would like access and I will grant it to anyone that watches my videos. To install the combination firmware, just click on AP and uh, point it to the combination firmware and that should be it. It'll take a little bit of time to load, but uh, once it's done, just click on start and that, that process takes about five minutes, or probably even less than that. I sped up this part of the video, the loading times, just so to make the video a bit more digestible because or else you would just be like 20 or 30 minutes. So uh, once it's all flashed up, we need we just need to leave the phone alone for a second and you will go through its prompts. It will come with some green and purple writing on top. That's perfectly normal. It will say erasing and then you will start loading the factory binary, which is a, a firmware that allows you to enable a few things that we're going to need in order to remove the FRP on this phone. So um, you will see that it's going to take a little bit of time. I left this one in real time as well, so you can see just how long it takes to, to load the factory binary. It doesn't take very long. It takes a little bit of time, but not very long. Once it's uh, loaded, we're going to need to go into the, the dots at the top. I think the nine dots, they look like the, the menu sort of icon on the top left like that. And then go into settings. We're going to make sure ADB is enabled. So go to developer options right at the bottom and you got ESP debugging there. Turn it off, turn it back on and just to make sure that it's active. Then go all the way back and you see IME. Just click on that one and then go star hash 0808 hash 
and that will come up with this menu. Choose DM plus ICM plus IDB and click reboot and wait for it to reboot again. In this uh, factory binary, you can enable OEM unlocking and that you don't need to do anything else. Just enable OEM unlocking, install the latest firmware and that will clear your FRP, but that will trigger NOx. And we're trying to do this without triggering NOx because uh, you know, if we need to use the warranty at a later stage, we're not going to be able to if NOx is triggered. So if you if you don't mind triggering NOx, then that's fine. So once it loads back up again, click IME and do the same thing. Star hash 0808 hash and then this time click OK. Just make sure that the MACM and ADB is enabled. And now it's time to use our FRP bypass tool. So either double click on it like I just did now and wait for all of this writing to come up. Once it does, close the window or you can right click and run as administrator. Uh, some configurations might require you to do these other configurations. You can just double click. In my system, it works both things, but in yours might not work. Just do it two or three times just to make sure that it's gone through. And when you're happy with it, just close it down and it's time to uh, put the phone back into download mode. So let's grab the phone and press the, the power button one more time. And uh, now it's time to put the phone in download mode. So power button, home button and volume down button. Once you see the battery uh, icon showing that it's charging, that's when you do it. When you see the warning screen here, just press volume up button and that is in download mode. So now let's go back on the computer and we're going to go and flash the latest firmware. So launch Odin once more and go to BL and go to the firmware folder that is in the description. Load in BL and then you've got the next one which is AP. Just load in AP. This one takes a little bit longer to do. I'll sped up this part because it does take a little bit of time and then load CP and finally load CSC but instead of CSC we're gonna load home CSC do not load CSC because or else you FRP would stay there just load home CSC and when you're happy with it just click on start and this proce process will take a little bit of time as well and I sped up this part of the video just to make it a bit more bearable once uh, the process is complete, the phone will restart. It will start erasing all of the caches and things like that. And uh, it will go all the way to the desktop. Once again, I sped up this part of the video because <laughs> it just takes a long time the first time. Uh, so as you can see, it's uh, well sped up. So uh, just wait for it. It's going to flash the Samsung logo for uh, quite a long time. I would say 10, 15 minutes at least. 10 minutes, I think, at least to be on a fair side. Then once you get to the home screen, all you need to do then is accept the terms and conditions. So click on the home button if you see the screen just flashed. So just accept the terms and conditions, go next, and that is it, you are in. But you're not done yet because there's a few configuration uh, parts of the system that are not going to be 100%. So we're going to need to reset the phone and it might be a little bit slow as well. That's perfectly normal. Just go into settings, go into the bottom and go to about phone. It's very, very slow at the moment. My, my one was at least. So the software, as you can see, is version 8.1.0. But we're gonna go down here and we're gonna click on reset and factory data reset. And click on reset one more time and delete all. And then this part is gonna take a little bit of time as well. Again, I sped up this part so you, you won't have to suffer. But uh, yeah, it does take quite a bit of time to do. And this should be really it. Yeah, I'm going to boot all the way to the desktop so you guys can see that it is done even after factory resetting. But as you can see at the bottom of the screen, already is going to be emergency call and accessibility, two of the features that need the FRP to be unlocked in order to do it. So connect to your Wi-Fi 
and click next and I'm going to skip all of this but you can just go ahead and sign in if you've got your Google account at hand or if you want to put your Samsung account this is another version of Android so it might have a slightly different uh, user interface compared to Android 8 you don't see this this is new checking info with a big wheel going around this was not before as you can see sign in to Google is already free I'm just gonna go and skip all of these steps here and go directly to the home screen without signing into anything or uh, putting any any sort of security just keep skipping and uh, accept your terms and conditions it will say adding finishing touches and that really is it skip the Samsung sign in and you should be okay all down your phone is ready to use and now it's hundred percent unlocked so you can just go ahead and use it as you can see I didn't trigger knocks because Samsung pay is there ready to set up so I guess this is it for this video guys thank you very much for watching if you did like this video or if this video helped you please give us a like and consider subscribing so I can continue releasing more content like this I have got a few more fonts to go through but it's just having the time to do them because this process takes quite a bit of time and I have to do the same font two or three times in order to get the process just right so the video can flow smoothly so thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one goodbye